If you're gonna be an MVP, you might as well work to become the MVP of your own life. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast. And today we continue on day three of a five-day mini seminar with Jeff Jones, strength and conditioning, mental performance coach, Arkansas State Football. Today, Jonesy and I talk about the importance of implementing a MVP process with the athletes that you coach. And MVP stands for mission, vision, and principles. And the benefit, the confidence, the maturity that comes when one of your clients or athletes identify, maybe it's you, identify your mission, vision, and core principles so that you can live a principle-based life instead of a preference-based life, which is where I do what I feel like doing every moment of the day. Now, if you want to learn more about MVP and creating your own MVP process, just head over to briancane.com slash MVP, linked in the show notes below to get the templates that we talk about on today's episode and a video where I explain to you exactly how to walk through the five steps of establishing and enhancing your own MVP process. And if you go back to January 4th, 2023, I run a two-week mini seminar on building your own MVP If you want to take it down, I'd go back to January 4th and I would go back through that two week mini seminar. I'd go to briancane.com slash MVP, get your templates and go to work. Let's join coach Jeff Jones talking about the importance of implementing an MVP process. Jonesy, talk about how you do the MVP with everybody because you got a hundred plus football players. Are you sitting down and doing that with everybody? Do you, do you present it to them and ask them to do it and they bring it to you? What's that look like? How do you roll that out? So how we do that is we have six performance coaches, including myself, and we go through the roster and I highlight the guys that I'm going to meet with. Our other five assistants highlight the guys they're going to meet with. And this is an eight week process where we do this, because like you said, we got 120 guys and these meetings, these aren't short meetings. These are 30, 45, sometimes 50 plus minute meetings, but it's probably some of the most impactful 30, 45, 50 minutes I can spend with an athlete. And I I go away from those meetings feeling energized. I feel more connected to them. They feel more connected to me, but most importantly is they feel locked in and dialed in to what's most important to them. And, And I think I've seen a real difference and it's also allowed me to the guys that I have these meetings with, I can coach them a lot more effectively. I can coach them a little bit harder and I'm not worried about them being sensitive. And, and that's built a relationship too, because when you can take coaching and you take hard coaching, you're going to get better. You're going to get closer to your best. So how we do it is we split up and then we have these cardstock papers. It's just an eight by 11 paper. It has their picture on there and it has their name. And the first one is mission. And we talk about what is their why? Why do you play football? And everybody has different whys. And and that's probably the most challenging thing to me. I even reached out to you about that is getting them to put their why in in a sentence. Because I want them to be able to to have their mission as a part of their self-talk. On days they don't feel like it. On days they don't feel like you're tired. On on days you just, you don't have whatever. I want their mission to be their go-to self-talk where they're saying it over and over. So I try to dial it into one sentence and, and that, that, that's been a challenge for some, but we get the mission into a sentence. And a lot of it has to do with their guys as family. Uh, one of them was not prove people wrong, but it's proof the people right. And uh, a lot of them has to do with. All right. Can you got me here? I got a call coming in. Yeah. 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 I got you. Uh, so they over the mission, we, we dive down to a sentence, then we move on. Now we tweaked it because yours is vision. Tanner, what we did is we just called it values. Hmm. So then what I did there is I say, give me three to four core values. Who are you as a person? How do you want to be experienced? What do you want myself to say about you? What do you want your teammates to say about you? What do you want coach Butch Jones to say about you? when you're not around, how do you want to be experienced? And I have this sheet of character skills. You got performance skills and you got relational skills. And I talk about the performance skills are the skills that govern your relationship with you and you as a competitor. And then your relational relational skills are the, the skills that govern your relationship with others. And it's about you being the best teammate. And I want them to pick 
one to two from each one. So they look at these skills because we, we, we call it skills because they're not traits because we believe we can develop these skills, right? Mm. Whether it's having more appreciation, whether it's being more respectful, being more positive, being more focused. These are all skills that you can improve on. So we call them skills. And then they write down the three to four core values. Really important. And I try to memorize the guys that I meet with. Like just for an example, one of our linemen, his core values are mad P. Motivated, accountable, disciplined, positive. So when I try to coach him, I like to talk about motivated, accountable, disciplined, positive with him. Mad P. So those are some things I remember that help me coach those guys better because I, I'm I, I know what who they want to be as a person. Mm. I understand deeper than them as a player. Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comment. We'll see you tomorrow. Are you a coach who wants to level up your ability to coach mental performance so that your clients can consistently perform at their best and get the results that they've been missing? Then join some of the top performing and top income generating coaches in the world by mastering the 10 mental skills your clients need to win. I open my mental performance mastery coaches certification course only twice a year, typically in May and November. So your next step is to join my free insiders list so you can save $200 when you join. Just head to briancane.com and click on certification to join our insiders list and learn more about how you can become a certified mental performance mastery coach.